Because it is going to be clear night somewhat. So I'm trying to take a picture of a neutron star explosion region. It literally looks like a big nuclear explosion there. We don't know what caused this nuclear explosion, but the latest Chandra observations show that this explosion that created this jellyfish nebula structure, the IC443, may be a remnant of a supernova. The rapidly spinning neutron star or a pulsar might have created this outward supernova explosion structure. Let me show you guys the QHY 367C camera. I think this one, I removed the standard RASA adapter that comes with the telescope and I got a badder adapter, the huge one, that goes for the full frame and the set up the entire image frame in front of the telescope with their filter sliders and with their adapters. NASA says there is a circular kind of a structure surrounding the pulsar and a jet-like feature that is pointing like an upward direction going up which is actually causing this mega bubble here. There are patches of clouds, it's pretty cold at night. I'm using RASA 11 V2 able to autofocus it and took some pictures. I'm using the QHY 367C color camera and with the Optolong L and Hans filter. It took two minutes exposures. The automatic focus from Star Arizona holding up pretty good. I'm using the PEC the periodic error curve or corrections on the Hobim and it gave me like below arc second guiding. Thank you for all the new subscribers who joined the channel. Thank you. In a tiny patch of a sky somewhere in Gemini constellation, there is a neutron star that exploded and using our backyard telescopes, now we are able to capture these pictures.